Today I uh, went to the store and after a lot of uh, looking around I noticed that um, I had two choices when it came to a 22 caliber pistol and um, the two that I liked the most were the GSG 1911-22 or the SIG, uh, the SIG Sauer 1911-22. Then I found out both were made by the same people. Now the Sig Sauer uh, one that uh, was available at the store was a tan or um, FDE colored uh, pistol and it was uh, $515. As you can see over here, this one was $399. So let's go ahead and unpack this puppy. Now, one of the things that happened when I went to the store, which was really kind of nifty, was that, and let's open this thing up, there you go, and there's the pistol. You'll notice that there's uh, a couple of things that are, um, um, that are interesting about this pistol that I bought today. One, it came with an extra magazine. Secondly, it came with this nifty looking silencer. Now, it doesn't do anything, if anything, actually, um, from what I heard from all the people that were there, it actually makes the um, firing of the firearm even louder than it actually is. But it does make it tactical. cool. Now, I chose the version of um, the GSG 1911-22 that uh, comes with a... Let's get it out of the bag that comes with a nice cool rail so that I can put all sorts of attachments on it. Now looking at it at just at first glance I would say it looks really amazing. The finish is actually really good even though I know that it probably won't wear very well over time. It actually looks amazing. Now having come from the store I've already uh, checked the uh, the firearm for any ammunition inside, but let's do it anyway, just to make everyone happy. I eject the magazine, you can see nothing in it. Let's open it up. There you look. You can see inside, nothing in it. Now, one thing I did notice was that when I was in the store, he actually had about three or four of these. And of the three or four that he had, um, I kind of played with them all just to see which trigger I liked the best and to be honest with you They were all different every single one of them One of the things that really disappointed me most was when you actually bring the slide back It, it, it kind of grinds a little bit and now Having said that it grinds a little bit. I also understand that this is a uh, $399 pistol which by the way, I got a, a free magazine with it, so I'm not really complaining. I mean, I've heard a lot of people on uh, YouTube that have put up videos of the GSG that they'll put some flits along the edges and smooth it down so that the rails will be a lot smoother. And I plan to do that, obviously. The other thing I noticed was um, when you when you look at the rod itself and it, it pokes out, um, a lot of people are replacing it with this stainless steel rod. My friend, uh, which is the reason why um, I decided to go with, with this pistol, has uh, the same pistol, but uh, his has the uh, wood-colored um, hand, hand grips on it, and that's fine, and he's made a few modifications to it, but he has that uh, stainless steel rod in there, and he claims, after having made that modification, that the pistol fires much better. Um, that I'm not sure about because on my second video or my next video, I plan to actually um, demonstrate firing of the uh, of this pistol, and we'll see how it how it actually performs on the firing range. One of the things that I I think really disappointed me the most is when I first opened up the breech when I got um, at the store. A lot of the three or four. Um, firearms that he had. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see that. This is my first video, by the way, so I apologize. But just inside there, you, I can actually see a little bit of it, but there's not too much in this one because it's been wiped away. But I'm going to try to wipe some off right here. I don't know if you can see that. Those are little bits of metal, and they're really tiny little bits of metal. 
but they're in there. And there's a lot of it. it it's kind of like um, the milling or the uh, machining wasn't 100%. And you can actually see a lot of that on my finger. Um, I hope it shows up on the camera. I apologize if it doesn't. Uh, but again, just as with most uh, firearms that, that I purchase, one of the first things I always do is take it apart, clean it, uh, make sure that none of the factory stuff is left over, and uh, then I take it out to the range and I, I give it a good run for its money. The other thing that um, I was told was that um, it, it doesn't, for some reason, like Remington. The Probably the first 50 you know, shells that we put through that were Remington, uh, we didn't have any failures on either the SIG or the GSG that we had at the firing range. Um, so, you know, as far as that goes, I'm not sure. But what we did use, and I'm just going to reach back here and, and get them, is we used some of these. And these actually worked out to be quite awesome. They're uh, the Winchester Super X and they're the long nose. And we tried both the round nose and the hollow point. And the hollow points are only uh, 1,280 feet per second. These are 1,300 feet per second. But because they were higher velocity and 40 grain, the slide seemed to, um, to go back and forth much easier. Uh, the other thing that we found was that uh, we had no stove pipes. We had no uh, failures to feed with this ammunition. And so uh, when I go to the range in the next uh, day or so, I'm probably going to crack open this box and those will be the first uh, few rounds that I put in this pistol. The other nice thing about this pistol when I purchased it was that the supplier um, gave me, and it was really nice of them, a cleaning kit. So it was a special that day and I went into the store and I, so not only did I get a nice extra magazine along with the one that came with it, but I got a nice little cleaning kit which I will show you right now. And there's the cleaning kit. So you know what? I can't really complain. It was a nice cleaning kit. It's only worth about uh, $12, but you know, hey, free is free, good is good. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the other thing that I noticed when we were uh, firing the uh, GSG and the uh, SIG the other day was that the SIG seems to have a much better finish. Maybe a little bit more durable, maybe they applied a little thicker coat, I don't know. Um, but, you know, what I did notice is uh, the wear was really bad around here, around these edges right here, and especially where you're gripping it with, with, with your fingers. Uh, there wasn't too much wear around, around the, the actual frame, but the slide seemed to take the, mo the bulk of, of, of what was going on. But having said that, um, the other thing that you have to know is obviously for those who don't know anything about the GSG, is that you cannot pull the trigger and have the hammer come down on the firing pin uh, while the magazine is out. So I can do that and you'll see that nothing happens as soon as we put the magazine in. Now obviously it's a rim fire so I will not let the hammer fall on the pin and there you can see the hammer went down. The other thing that I did notice was the GSG with very little pressure you can slide that slide back. It's not quite as easy on the uh, SIG. I don't know if maybe the spring is different, not sure because I haven't taken them apart. But what I do plan to do is later this summer there's going to be a uh, sale on at the same store and they've indicated that uh, if they have any of the SIGs left that you'll at least, at very least, save the tax. In this case, uh, not only did I, um, not only was this one um, $115 less expensive. Uh, one of these is about $25 plus the taxes is about $30. So all in all, I would say that I probably uh, did fairly well with the extra magazine and the cleaning kit, of course, which the cleaning kit will come in handy because I got to get all those little bits of metal out of there. Anyways, there you have it, the GSG 1911 22 extra magazine and of course, Tactical Silencer. Fake silencer, fake cam, whatever you want to call it.